What's up everyone, Lord Ryujin here bringing you another video and let's just cut straight to the chase with this. I want to go ahead and address some of the recent rumors that have come out with the Nintendo NX and this is really starting to get annoying. It's really starting to get on my nerves and this is more likely going to be the last time that I talk about the NX until the thing is actually revealed because I'm, honestly I'm sick of rumors. Rumors are rumors. And they're rumors because people just want something to talk about. We don't know what the NX is. It's very mysterious. Nintendo's holding it uh, very, very close to to the you know they're holding their hand very close to their chest with this. But I want to talk about it because some of the recent rumors that have come out don't make a lick of sense. So what do I mean? Um, well, I don't remember the exact source it came from. I think I read it from like IGN or something. I don't remember the exact source. But some of the stuff was saying it's like, oh, it's going to be a handheld portable. It's able to dock and go to the television and have controllers that can remove when you play the the the, the home system. And this is what it's going to be. It's going to be physical media, and it's not going to be as powerful as the PS4. And whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Most of the stuff that you're talking about is exactly what you talked about with the Wii U. And some of you people may not be subscribed to um, a YouTube channel with Blunty, I think is what it is. But he did a video recently that just sort of um, expresses a little bit better my frustration when it comes to these rumors. Because a lot of stuff that they were talking about, they were talking about with what ended up being the Wii U. You know, talking about how the gamepad was going to be able to go with you and play games and stuff like that. And it does. It doesn't go outside the house, you have to be within a certain distance from the console, but you can still essentially, through off-TV play, the games that support it, play it beyond the TV. So I think that all the NX is going to be a step up from that. Like I said, a more powerful, beefier Wii U that's capable of maybe taking something like a portable, like the 3DS, for example, and playing it on the go. And you just download it directly to it. But again... I don't really want to speculate anymore until we see the, the thing. And if they reveal it in September, that's fine and fantastic. But most of the stuff that they're talking about is stuff that shouldn't even be talked about. Really, it shouldn't be talked about. It's not news. It's not. It's just somebody speculating and somebody taking rumors from six years ago, seven years ago, when we were talking about the Wii U, and spitting out a lot of the same stuff. I mean, not as pow... Okay, I can see something being as powerful as the Wii U when it comes to a portable system, because that just makes sense. The 3DS is as strong, is as powerful as a Wii. Usually a portable is as powerful as its last gen, if not maybe a gen and a half from that. Um, but to say that if it is a console, that it's not going to be as powerful as like an Xbox or a PlayStation 4, that's not necessarily true because we've heard rumors that are the exact opposite, saying that it's Nintendo's looking to get something that's as powerful, at least, as an Xbox One, which I still think is a mistake for reasons that I've already stated earlier, um, as far as, well, with the Scorpio coming out next year and stuff like that, that's already going to go above and beyond what the Xbox One is capable of doing, you should at least try to be on par with the least powerful thing out at that time, or on par with that. But that's just me. Again, only time will tell... As I've said time and time again, only time will tell. I don't want to talk about this anymore until the system actually comes out because rumors are just rumors. I can sit here and I can write an article and submit it to a company and I can say that the NX is going to have chicken eggs and for its power source. You just put a chicken right on top of it, it craps eggs, and that's where you get the console, that's where you get the, the games from. It's all digital, connects via satellite. You have to have you know, direct TV to be able to use it. I mean, I can say anything because it would just be a rumor. And I can just say, oh, it's from a reliable source. Okay? But again, only time will tell. A lot of this stuff is mixing stuff up because we don't really know if the EDX is a portable, if it's a console, if it's going to be both. Like, I think it might be both. It would make sense if it's a console first and then if it's a portable first and then a console that comes out later on in that year um, sort of like what the Vita and the PS4 were going to do before Sony axed the, the Vita um, or it could be bundled as one, who knows but again a lot of these rumors that are coming out are just speculation at this point and I, I, I'm done talking about it 
I want to know more about the Nintendo NX. I really do. And I enjoy reading these kind of things because it kind of makes me think a little bit, well, what if it actually is like that, you know? Um, and I've spoken time and time again about what I want the NX to be, how I want the controller to look. I think that that whole transparent one with, like, you know, with the um, circle pads and you just kind of tap them in and big stuff around. I think that's kind of cool to do. But if they go with a more traditional controller, like a pro controller, just basically taking the Wii U pro controller and just slapping on some NFC technology for their Amiibo, I'm cool with that as well. As long as you bring the killer AAA titles, as long as you bring me the first part exclusives that I want to see, that's all that really matters. But I think I'm done talking about the Nintendo NX for now because all these are just rumors saying that it's going to be less powerful than the current gen. But that's what they said about the Wii U, and the Wii U turned out to be able to be more powerful than a PS3, just it didn't, it wasn't as powerful as the Xbox One, so, yeah, but only time will tell, and I think that regardless of what Nintendo does, they're just going to be outdone in a year or two anyway, so they might as well just focus on the games, that's, to me, is all that's important. But that's just my two cents, guys. What do you think about the recent Nintendo NX rumors? Are there any that you kind of just want to call bullcrap on? Or do you think there's, there's some out there that are actually valid? Make sure that you share your two cents on this, because I'd love to hear what you have to say. But I will officially, I think, retire, unless there's something that I think is actually valid, talking about Nintendo NX rumors. Because until the thing is actually revealed, it could be anything. It could be just a portable. It could be just a console. It could be both. It could just be a smartphone. It could just be them basically saying, hey, the NX is actually just a smaller gamepad. We're still going to support the Wii U. And that's the other thing is Nintendo said that the NX is not the successor to the Wii U or the 3DS. So that makes me think that it's just something different entirely. And that they're still going to make Wii U games. I don't really know. I don't really know, but it will be interesting whenever they do reveal it. I think September makes a ton of sense because I think we have a Tokyo Game Show coming up around then, so it just makes a ton of sense to show it at that time in a controlled environment in Tokyo, which is you know near Nintendo's headquarters anyway. But yeah, sorry that I dragged that out a little bit too much, and I'm sorry that I don't have anything more valid for you. I just wanted to address that real quick, and I appreciate you watching. Have a good one. I'll see you next time.